from all acts of terrorism in Jammu and Kashmir. What we see in Pakistan, Mr. President, is a terrorist state which analyzes billions of dollars, much of it diverted from international aid to training, financing, and supporting terrorist groups as militant proxies against its neighbors. Terrorist entities and their leaders, including many designated by the UN, continue to roam its streets freely and operate with state support. With the approval of authorities, many terrorist organizations raise funds openly in flagrant violations of Pakistan's international obligations. Mr. President, even today, we have heard support by the Pakistan's Prime Minister. It is so pathetic to see the Prime Minister of Pakistan championing the cause of UN-designated terror organization. It clearly shows there is no need for any further explanation. We can straight away declare Pakistan as a terrorist state. Nawaz Sharif. It neither wants nor is it engaged in an arms race with India. But we cannot ignore our neighbor's unprecedented arms build-up. I think this is really a disappointment. At least it confirms that uh, we don't need to waste our time talking to this gentleman. I think it's very clear that India now needs to focus on different approaches to Pakistan. But neither the... Along the LOC also. This is not the way to have peace, talk out outside and do not do whatever they agree to. When they are not reliable, how can they have peace? This is all. I just will laugh over on that. This is uh, just, he has got a lot of loopholes which he has created. He is unable to control that and this his inability is coming into the anger into the world level. <laughs>